So you guys probably by now know that if you go to um, like my video feed and you click on the three dots, you can choose pin and then it'll show mine full screen. Because I'm over here now and I wanna show you how to get your baking soda 1.5 centimeters on every test tube. Because remember, that was our control. The variable we're changing, the manipulated variable, is the amount of vinegar. So everything else has to stay the same. So I'm going to measure from the bottom of the test tube to one and a half baking soda every time. So right there, I got almost one and a half centimeters. And there are probably better ways we could do this, but as long as we can quantify it, get it into a reportable fashion, then we're good. Because then we can really control our error. So if I'm correct, we put in one and a half uh, centimeters of baking soda? Yep, just like that. You're going to do that for every test tube. Okay. I got my first one. <clears throat> Let's see. The procedure step number three was 20 milliliters of the so I'm going to pour that into my beaker. And yeah, the hard part is pouring your vinegar into your balloon. This time I didn't lose any. Oh, I guess I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drops. I got that. Okay. So I am ready. Let me check what step I'm on. All right, I'm going to do step six and seven. Okay, here we go. Step six and seven, coming up. Woo oh, I'm losing some. Yeah, I lost some of it. Carbon dioxide. Wow, how did that get so much worse than the first time I did it? I'm going to shake it up a bit. Make sure it all reacts. Look at my balloon. I didn't get all the gas. So that's why we do multiple trials, because this first trial, um, I lost a lot of carbon dioxide. All right. I'm going to get some paper towels while that's working. All right. 
science is what? <laughs> I don't want anybody slipping on that. Including me. I tend to be quite clumsy. Yeah, step number eight. You gotta measure the circumference of my balloon. Remember, do it around the widest part. So this is a good reason why you should only use your balloons once. Because it gets a little uh, loose. That's the air stair right there. All right, so there we, there we go. I've got the string all the way around. I'm going to use my ruler to measure that distance of circumference in centimeters. And I've got 13.5. Right, so write that down. Thirteen oops. Thirteen point five centimeters. All right. Whew. So I'm gonna do okay, here's here's choice you make. Do you wanna do trial one for every different amount of vinegar? Or do you wanna keep doing trial two and three for twenty milliliters? It's completely up to each of you how you decide to do it. I'm going to go down to 25 to see how it changes the circumference of the balloon. Well, actually, I should do this one again because my balloon lost a bunch of gas. And this trial is, is really not accurate. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go clean this up and reuse it. Because this is going to be for my 20 milliliters, and that'll be for the other. Trial two with 20 milliliters of vinegar. Okay. Get my baking soda.
There we go. Got about 1.5. Hey, Mr. G. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we put the balloon over the top of the test tube. Just like in the video, and if you're watching me now, just like I did. Okay. Yeah, feel free to pin my video so you can see it full screen. All right, I'm going to pour 20 milliliters of vinegar again because it didn't work well the first time. I lost a lot of carbon dioxide. All right, so I'm repeating those steps. And yeah, it really helps to hold the balloon in place so you don't lose any gas, but still I was holding it and a lot of gas escaped. That's the hardest part. Here we go. Trial two. Let's see if I can keep all the gaps in there. Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah, this is working better. Oh, look at that. It's already way bigger. I'm just going to do this to make sure all the vinegar and all the baking soda react. The acidic acid and the uh, sodium bicarbonate are recombining all the atoms into carbon dioxide, CO2, acetate, and H2O, water. Oh, look at that, that is huge. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna do this with one hand. Because I do not want to lose any of the gas. All right, all right, much longer. Oh, look at that. It's doing well. Yeah, we might need two rulers for this if it gets any more. Wow, 28.5 centimeters circumference on my balloon. And this is the least amount of vinegar. Okay, so trial two. 28.5. Holy mackerel. Now, before I do an average, if I was only going to do two trials, trial one was so clearly an accident. It went wrong because I lost a lot of gas. I would not keep this number. I am actually going to cross it out because I know it was a human error and it's not an accurate uh, result. As scientists, we have to make this call sometimes. Mr. G. Yeah. Um, me and my mom have been trying for a while and we can't figure out how to measure it by, by using the ruler, by like the vinegar. What is I mean, not the vinegar, the uh, baking soda. So when I showed you, you, you couldn't see it? We can't really see it because... Um... So if you click on my video, the one with the baking soda and the test tubes, click on the three dots and choose pin oh, okay. so you can see it full screen. Oh, okay. What, why is this... Then watch what I'm doing. When you pour the baking soda in there, just pour enough baking soda for it to go 1.5. So you're just going to put this much. What? what? Watch me, I'm going to do it again. Okay. There. What? Okay, so watch my screen. Right now, and I'm going to try to get it to be as flat as possible. I've got about one centimeter from the very bottom of the test tube to one centimeter. So I need a little bit more to get it to go up to one and a half. You see that? 
So you're supposed to, how many test tubes are you supposed to fill up? All of these? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll get to work. I'll do it. You can go. I know. Okay. I'm going to one and a half like this. And then when you're done with that, holler at me and you try to figure out the vinegar. You read the instructions, okay? You can go. And then just measure it as you go, okay? Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay. I'm sorry. So you want to tap it a bit so it's flat. Oh, look at that. Mine is right there. I don't know if you can see, but it's really close to 1.5. See that, that graph there? That's how we do it. And we're all doing it the same way so we can see if we get the same results. That's the beauty of doing the same experiment over and over with different people and following the exact same procedure. All right, so now I'm going to do 25 milliliters. Ooh, that's going to be hard to measure. But we're just going to go a little bit above the oh, 20. Oh, I figured it out. Yay. Yay. Sorry, let's see. Let's see how much I got there. Any more paper towels? Yeah, so be careful measuring 25 milliliters. I'm just going to go a little bit above the 20 milliliter line. And it helps to wait till the vinegar stops sloshing back and forth so you can kind of tell where it is. And you want to be at eye level. It's just about perfect. All right. Now the pour. Here we go. We get better with practice. All right, trial one with twenty five milliliters. Mr. G. Yeah. yeah. I appear to only have five test tubes here. All right, if you only have five, you can just clean one and reuse it. But I only have four. I didn't remember if I put five or six. Ah. All right, here we go. So what do I do if there's only five again? What do you do what? What do I do if there's only five again? Uh, what step are you on? Um, gather all of your materials. Okay. okay, so get all your stuff together. Yeah, I have all my stuff. So then go to step number two. Yeah, it says put all six test tubes in the test tube holder, and um, so put the I have five of them, but I can't find a sixth one. Right, so put the five. All right. Oh, look at that, it looks very similar. I think it could be cool. So I kept the baking soda amount the same, and all I changed was the amount of vinegar by five mil milliliters. So if any change happens to the circumference of this balloon, my only cause has to be the one variable I change.
Plus, I made a mess. Can I see the instructions one more time? I only got to nine. Uh, you have the link to the document on the assignment. Okay. Oh. Darn, I thought I was going to have two balloons there. So, yeah. The next group that comes in here is going to wonder, what happened to our table? I'm going to be like, what do you mean? Okay. So let's see. I'm going to get rid of this just in case it's going to pop. If you got your experiment set up or you've already um, mixed up one balloon, don't forget to take pictures. Uh, Mr. G? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm if I'm correct, we have to do 20 milliliters of vinegar? Yep, that's what the step says. So if you read the procedure, that is step number four. Add 20 milliliters of vinegar. Um, but the cup, uh, its lowest is 40. No, it's not. No, it's not. You see there's one line under the 40. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Because if it goes up by 20 milliliters, the next one under 40 has to be 20. The hard part's going to be doing 25 and 30 and 35. I'm going to turn off the sound on this because the feedback is not fun anymore. Okay. okay, how's that? Wait, I'm still getting echo. Why am I getting echo? I turned it, oh, I have to mute myself.
Mr. Gonzalez. Where are you? Mr. Gonzalez. Yes. Uh, so there's the first balloon, and um, nice. I had, I had quite a, uh, I had quite an, an explosion. So yeah, I, me too. I only got six point five centimeters. Yeah, that's what happened to me. That's why we do multiple trials because okay. you learn from the accidents. I remember what I mentioned. If you lost uh, some gas out of your balloon, like I did then you really can't count that trial into your average. You can record it, but I, I put a line through it. I did a strike through because it shouldn't affect your final average because it's not really uh, how much gas is in there. Okay. So I have got 30 going with my next balloon. So if you reuse a balloon, um, which you're going to have to, we can reuse test tubes. We can reuse balloons. You can really do this with one test tube, one balloon. You just got to hold it tight when it starts to expand. All right, here we go. 30 milliliters of vinegar with 1.5 centimeters of baking soda because that's a controlled variable. We can't change it. We can only change the manipulated variable. And our manipulated variable is the amount of vinegar. There. Let's see what this does. Yeah, and I'm going to need to use my ruler twice or two rulers because I'm already at 29 centimeters last time. So let's see if this goes up to 30 centimeters. Oh boy, gotta hold it in place. Don't wanna lose it. And a little gas escaping is, is bound to happen. You just don't wanna lose too much. Seems like it happened to Zachary as well as me. All right, so I'm holding it tightly in place just to keep gas in the balloon as much as possible. And here we go. Take three. And this is what I do. Just go back and forth. Back and forth. Ooh, somebody's coming back. Welcome back, Troy. All right, so here's where I'm at. I'm mixing my next one. I'm at 30 milliliters and I'm going back and forth to try to get at uh, the baking soda that's at the very bottom of my test tube. That needs to react with my vinegar. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, so by the time the balloon gets this big, uh, it's going to pop out if you leave it by itself. So you might want to be over a sink when you um, finish measuring the circumference. All right, here we go. Next circumference. Oh boy, what's it going to be? Oh my, it's gone way over 30. Well, not way over 30, looks like 31. All right, I'm gonna get rid of, clean this up, get rid of my balloon before it pops out on its own. Mr. Gonzalez? Yeah. Are we supposed to do three trials and then this, each amount with vinegar. each amount of vinegar and then see how it changes? You can. What I said is you have a choice, 
whether you want to go through the first trial for every amount of vinegar or whether you want to do three trials for each amount. Uh, it's totally up to you. Okay. But both ways are good. Thirty. So I, I had this much above 30 centimeters. So I'm going to put that there. Whoa, this one went up to 32. See that? 32 centimeters. Man, that's quite the difference. The other one went up by half a centimeter. This one went up by three. Okay, so. Thirty-two. Wow, that's quite the increase. At this point, I'm going to stop my recording.